This is what Paul found out in Corinth. The Corinthians were famous for their sexual freedom and emotional entanglements. What they weren't known for was making love work because they didn't even know what they didn't know about love. And so Paul starts simple. Love is patient. Love is kind. Love is not envious or boastful or arrogant or rude. Paul knew that love's first steps always have to be baby steps. And I think that's a great way to start. You see, getting married doesn't mean you know enough about love to get married. Getting married means you are willing to learn what you don't know about love with this supremely unique and important person. Your love will work best when you imprint the name and face of Jesus upon it. Love works and love works best when we love as God intends. And I believe that primarily means imprinting the name and face of Jesus upon your heart. You see what Paul calls love, the Bible calls agape. That's the Bible word, agape. Agape is the love that Jesus is talking about when Jesus says, God so loved the world that he gave his only son. Agape is the love that Jesus is talking about when Jesus says, greater love has no one than this than you lay down your life for your friend. And agape is the love that Jesus is really all about right before his death when the Bible says, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. 